Praise the Lord. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. We are good. Tuko salama. Karibuni sana. This is Christ Zion Assembly in partnership with Trinity Chapel Nakuru. Yes, like I said last uh, Bible study, I am so excited that Christ Zion Assembly finally I have my church on board to do just this, you know, this. This is so beautiful for you who is um, you know, logging in for the first time. That's a very good introduction, yeah? So you know where you are. Last uh, Bible study, we really had an amazing time. We had Pastor Annette, Evangelist Annette, you remember? Uh Yes, she was a very harsh evangelist, this one. So (laughs) uh, what stood out for me from last Bible study, I think, is just what Annette said. You know, if you are a Christian, decide to be a Christian, and no, you know, no in-betweens. If you are born again, my friend, you are born again and act like it. And then number two, I think what stood out for me also is that, you know, um, there is what provokes God's wrath and God's anger, but there's also what provokes God's grace and God's mercy. So if you are wondering what I am talking about, the link is just, you see, you see this video? That other one. <laughs> that is below this, you will get it. Pastor Ricky, what stood out for you? I mean, again, evangelist and evangelist and <laughs> uh, the sense of urgency. Yes, the sense of urgency to yeah. be able to, you know, uh, what Jesus would say, cut off whatsoever makes you to sin. Yes. So the sense of urgency on not sinning willingly. Yes. And making excuses of sinning. Yeah. I think for me that's what stood out. Thank you. So, but I think I remember it's Annette who made the tweet about tweet yeah. uh, last last um, uh, Bible yeah. study. She said she's uh, going viral. She's, she's going, going viral. She was, she was yeah, she, on she a roadmap. Was, for we, we, need, we, we need to do a tweets. TikTok a TikTok <laughs> video for her. <laughs> so she said, uh, if you if you don't put to death sin, sin will put you to death. I think that was the tweet about co- the tweet. You know, last time, yeah. Annette. Yes. What stood out for you? Now that you have spoken about you a lot. Now that you have spoken a- about you a lot. I, thi- I think you guys have said it all. Yes. But what really stood out for me was the urgen- urgency. Yes. You know, like urgency to deal with sin, to put it to death. Yes. Because if you don't do it, it will slowly and slowly, mm-hmm. slowly creep in until uh, it becomes part of you, yeah. part of what you do, and you will be insensitive to yeah. it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. That was Colossians chapter 3 from verse 1, no, 5 to 10. Today, we are getting into Colossians chapter 3 from 10 all the way to 14. But before we do that, I have visitors. This Bible study is international today. Just imagine about that. So, uh, I would like um, hmm, our guests first time visitors on this Bible study <laughs> to introduce themselves and then I'll ask one of them uh, to pray for us and then the other to read through the scripture with us and then we get into just discussion. So can we begin where? The beautiful girl. Yes. Yes. Ladies first. <laughs> ladies first. Okay. Thank yeah. you so much. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. My name is Francine Luta and yeah. I'm happy to be here. So yeah, let's it. Yeah, let's yeah, eat. Let's wait, eat. wait, thank you so much. <laughs> yes, Karibu sana. She is from Kenya. Uh, for those of you who are, yes, Nduta is somewhere, somewhere here, up at Jew. Sasa, Nduts. Nduts. Yes, Karibu sana. Amen. Yes. My name is Sibusiso Banda. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Okay, okay. Uh, 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 yeah, take okay. that again. My name is Sibusiso Banda. It's a Zulu name, mm-hmm. but in but in Swahili it means baraka. Okay, Sibusisu. Yes. Sibusiso. Yes. Sibusiso. Sibusiso. Aha, yeah. perfect. That's Zulu. Yes, that's Zulu. Good. Thank you. Wonderful. Yes. yes, I'm a missionary working with Capro Missions. Yay! But in Kenya it's known as Christ Mission to the Unreached. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I'm currently based in Nyeri. Yeah. But uh, I've been here to be priv- I've been privileged to be here with you guys. So thank you for having me. Karibuni sana. Did you hear Zulu? Zulu. South Africa, yeah. in Kenya, <laughs> yeah. on this Bible stand, mm. Christ Zion Assembly. Mm. Yes, my name, you know, I am a common figure. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where, where song are you? Move. That is what it means. Okay, let's go. Now I'm telling you to say I'm also from Uganda. Ah, <laughs> yes, <laughs> costume. <laughs> but my name is Ricky Kinyanjui. Yeah. Yes, and I'm blessed to be here again. Pastor, we said last time. 
Hi. Hi. <laughs> My name is Annette An Nekesa. Evangelist Annette Nekesa. Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm Isaac. I'm an evangelist. Yeah, Isaac, evangelist Isaac. Thank best, you so much. Best, best in Nakuru. Best in Nakuru. Yeah. Nakuru, Kenya. Yes, Nakuru, Kenya. Amen? <laughs> so thank you so much, guys, for gracing this Bible study. Francie, would you want to pray for us so that we begin? Okay, let's pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing us to have this Bible study. And even as we read your word, may, we, may our hearts be open to understand and to practice what it is you have laid out for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, amen. and amen. Thank you so much, guys. We are headed to Colossians chapter 3. We can go back there. Uh, today I'm so privileged to have the message Bible here. I've been looking for this Bible for two years. So <laughs> it was a blessing for me to have finally a physical message, the message Bible, physical. Yeah, so Colossians chapter 3 from verse um, 10 all the way to 14. Karuki, you want to read for us that? Yes, please. Yes. Let's, um, this is a new, new King James Version mm. uh, from verse 10. The Bible says that, um, and, have, and have put on the new man mm -hmm. who is renewed in knowledge according to the image of him who created him. Mm -hmm. uh, verse uh, 11, where there is, no, there is neither Greek nor Jew, mm. circumcised nor uncircumcised, barbarian or Scythian, slave nor free, but mm -hmm. Christ is all and in all. Mm -hmm. Character is of new man. Mm -hmm. Verse 12, therefore, as the erect of God, holy and beloved, uh, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, wrong suffering, that in bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, mm. so you also must do. Uh, the last verse 14, but above all these things, put on love, mm -hmm. which is the board of perfection. Aha. Thank you. Ha! I love that. I love that. I love that. Uh, I did from the Message Bible as well. Uh, uh, every item of your new way of life is custom made by the creator with his label on it. All the old fashions are now obsolete. Words like Jewish and non-Jewish, religious and, and irreligious, insider and outsider, uncivilized and uncouth, slave and free, um, mean nothing. From now on, everyone is defined by Christ. Everyone is included in Christ. So chosen by God for this new life of love, dressed in the wardrobe God picked out for you. Compassion, kindness, humility, quiet strength, discipline, be even tempered, content with, that, with second place, quick to forgive an offense, forgive as quickly and completely as the master forgave you. And regardless of what else you put on, wear love. It's your basic all-purpose garment. Never be without it. What stands out for you? What stands out for you within those, those, those verses? What stands out? Oh, that's what we normally do. So just what stands out for you. <laughs> there's no formula to it. And there's, uh, you can pick it up whenever uh, you're ready to share something. Yes. Annette, you're always fired up to start. Okay, start us off. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think what stood out for me hmm. is verse, verse, verse 13. Yes. Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against, one, against, against someone, hmm. forgive as the Lord forgave you. Hmm. And, and I think all of us here have had a problem when it comes to forgiveness when someone has hurt you. Oh, yeah. It is not something that comes easily, yeah. especially if you've been hurt very badly. Badly, yes. yes. Yeah. But we see here, God is telling us to bear with one another. Mm -hmm. All of us, we've wronged someone. Mm -hmm. There's no one here who has never done something wrong to another person and hurt them. Yeah. And God is telling us to bear with, uh, with one another because we have all been hurt. Yeah. And the same way we want someone to forgive us mm -hmm. is the same way that we should forgive, forgive. others. Yeah. And, if, and sometimes we might sin mm -hmm. and do something that we think is unforgivable, yeah. that cannot be forgiven. Yes. But Christ himself forgave 
everything when he died on the cross. Mm -hmm. There's nothing that is impossible for him. There's nothing that he cannot cleanse. Mm -hmm. You know, we see so many people in the Bible they had sinned, mm -hmm. you know, the people that God used. We mm -hmm. see David. Mm -hmm. We see what he did. Mm -hmm. We see Moses. He was a murderer. Mm -hmm. But at the end of it all, God did not look at what he did, mm -hmm. but he transformed him so that he could do whatever he wanted him to do. Yeah. If if uh, he's, he remained stuck mm -hmm. in what he had done, yeah. he would not have been able to do whatever he was able to do. Mm -hmm. uh, great things we see. Yeah. So I just feel that... It is not uh, easy mm -hmm. to forgive, yeah. but since Christ showed us the first example, yeah. which is forgiving, yeah. then we should do the same. Yeah. And there's this, there's, uh, it finishes in verse 14. Yeah. The Bible says, and of all these virtues, mm -hmm. put on love, which, mm -hmm. is, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Yeah. You cannot forgive if you don't have love. love. That's true. You can't. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. No matter. If Christ loved us to the extent that he was willing to die, die. Yes. and forgive. Mm -hmm. It will hurt. Mm -hmm. But if you love, you will forgive. Yes. yes. I, I love that because I think you are putting um, a precedence of you know the level and the standard of forgiveness that we are supposed to follow. Mm -hmm. You understand? That if Christ loved us first and then forgave us for of our murders and of our impurities, our fornications. These things hurt him, like seriously. But he was willing to die for me and you so that we are reconciled back to him. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't think, I don't think uh, somebody has murdered me. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think somebody has hurt me to the extent of murdering or killing me so that I am, I am with that kind of thing of, I can't forgive him. I can't forgive her. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much for that. I think... Mm -hmm. uh, yes. <laughs> uh, and sometimes we don't accept forgiveness. Yes. You know, we feel like whatever we've done is too big for us to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. And I think we said about accepting. Yes. We had We learned earlier about yeah. accepting. Yeah, that, that, if that we video accept, is down here. Mm -hmm. we give. Yes. If we accept to be forgiven, you will forgive. You can never give mm. unless... You learn to accept to be helped. Yeah. Oh, that was the... You can give what you don't have. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, okay, you can pick it up. I think now you... <laughs> 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 yes. All right, that's a setup, but... Uh, uh, yes. I think I, I love there's so much weight to what he has said, yes. as per also what I was thinking about. Uh, yes. And, um, I mean, it is so true that, um, you know, you know, love, love is not just a feeling. Yeah. You know, it's it's it, it's more than that. Yeah. And if you really see the picture of love, it's sacrifice. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. people always say, you know, I I, I know uh, maybe I rub shoulders a little bit with ladies. Eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Where you know, ladies, are the, we are the ones who have more, you know, more work mm -hmm. on what to do. Yeah. We you know we have to understand you mm -hmm. and to do everything. I'm like, man, if you look at the picture of love in how Christ loves the church mm -hmm. to the point of death, mm -hmm. giving themselves fully, mm. sacrificiously, mm -hmm. you know, that um, word, uh, that word, yes. don't worry, it will be written down there, <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, and being able to just say that all that is in me, yeah. you know, what Colos still in Colossians it will say, yes. that in, in, in him, yeah. We, we, we breathe, we live and have our, our being. being, you know, yes. it is totally in him, yes, you know, yeah. For me, that's the kind of love that is being spoken about. Yes, and then maybe I'll speak also on what stands out for me here. Yes, a, a bit in verse eleven. It yes. starts. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, let me start with verse ten. It says, "And have put on." I'm reading for the ESV. Mm -hmm. And have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge of the image mm. of its creator. Mm -hmm. You know, the, 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 the heaviness that starts with that. Yes. One, we always, we, you know, the, the previous videos which I would like people to go and see. Yes. We have been speaking on put off. Put, put off, off. Put, put off, off. Put, put off. off. So we I left those put, I think we'll put offs we said. Uh, yeah. I think we need to read to read them yes. so that people know what they are putting off to yeah, understand from, what they are putting from on. From verse 5. From verse 5. Put to death, therefore. Uh, yes, and that means killing off everything connected with that way of death, sexual mm -hmm. promiscuity, impurity, mm -hmm. lust. I love the Message Bible. Doing whatever you feel like, whenever you feel like it. 
ah, they just was there. <laughs> yeah. What what people now have said, yes. do what makes you happy. Uh-uh. Uh, the Bible says, put that off. Give yes, it off. that's what people like, now say. Uh, my, uh-huh. I feel like, you know, my heart is telling me to do like this. And then the Bible has told you, above everything, the heart is the most deceitful <laughs> thing mm. on the surface of the earth. Uh-huh. And then you, you are saying, telling people, me, my heart just felt like doing Follow this your thing. Heart. Follow your heart. <laughs> ah, there you go. So the Bible says, kill those things. Eh? Uh-huh. Uh, doing whatever you feel like, whenever you feel like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, and grabbing whatever attracts your fancy. That, 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 that you should put that to, to death. <laughs> I love the message Bible. And, <laughs> and grabbing whatever attracts your fancy. That's a life shaped by things and feelings instead of being shaped by God. Mm. It's because of this kind of thing that God is about to explode in Mm. anger. Mm. It wasn't long ago that you were doing all that stuff and not knowing any better. But you know better now. So make sure it's all gone for good. Bad temper, irritability, meanness, profanity, and dirty talk. So those are things that we are putting off. Mm-hmm. Then now, put and, on. And, and, that, and then you see, the Bible, God does not leave us naked. Yes. You know? <laughs> so like put off and now put <laughs> on. You know, mm. And uh, it's amazing. And possibly I'll just finish with this. Yeah. Uh, because I know my brothers and sisters, they are burning they are here. They are burning with what you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> But then I would, it's, it's amazing that one we have been given the object by which we are supposed to put to imitate you know yes uh, and that is verse 11 that mm-hmm. says um no verse 10 mm-hmm. it says put on the new self mm-hmm. which is being renewed mm-hmm. in knowledge after the image of its creator mm. and simply um uh, you know also pastors are wrong but i want to be wrong in this yes that the more you continue to know, mm-hmm. the more you continue to grow, mm-hmm. and the more you love. Now, that's the tweet of today. Say that again. Ah, Do you again. even <laughs> <laughs> The more you continue to know, yes. the more you continue to grow, yes. and the more you continue to love. Good. And so, mm-hmm. I, I, I would want to believe that, one, you're not just looking upon any other kind of image. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. we're not looking at Buddha or, or Muhammad or mm-hmm. anybody else. Mm-hmm. We are looking upon Christ who became, you know, John will say, and the things that you have read, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. the things that was, were done mm-hmm. were set as examples, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. So he takes us back again, back to Genesis, mm-hmm. you know, saying scripture reveals scripture, mm-hmm. you know. What is written in Colossians, you know, it was not only that, okay, this is a new book, mm-hmm. but it is going, go back to, to, to Genesis, mm-hmm. that in the image and in the likeness of your father, mm-hmm. now continue to grow in, in that, that knowledge, knowledge of the image and likeness of your father. And mm-hmm. as you continue to grow in that, you know, I'll finish with this now as a pastor, the last that's finishing. the last finishing. <laughs> that's like the third finishing. You know, uh, yes. I'll finish with this, that, you know, the beautiful thing about knowing, mm. every time we understood, the, when we, we read in the Bible, and Abraham knew Sarah, mm. they gave forth. Mm-hmm. Now, the same way, when you know God, mm-hmm. you will give forth. And as you give forth, you're not giving forth an image mm-hmm. of anything else, mm-hmm. but you're giving forth an image of your father. You remind me of uh, that Bible study you talked about seed, eh? Yes, you understand? Oh, and yeah. circumcision, yes? yes uh-huh. That the seed, uh-huh. seed is meant to pass through circumcision therefore, so that the seed that comes out then is circumcised. And the seed that comes through uncircumcision also will also just come out uncircumcised. I think that's what you're talking about. True. Yes. Baraka. Allow me to call you Baraka. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, that's still my name. Yes. Yeah, well, I think... Um, my brethren here have alluded to such profound thoughts in the sense that verse 11 says, here there is no Gentile yes. or Jew yes. circumcised or uncircumcised, yes. barbarian, Scythian, slave or free. Yes. But Christ is all and is in all. Mm-hmm. If you understand the outline of the book of Colossians, mm-hmm. it starts in Colossians chapter 1, yeah. outlining the supremacy of Christ, yes. who Christ is, mm-hmm. In terms of his revelation. Yes. But now when you understand the supremacy of Christ, mm-hmm. you cannot understand or relate 
outside the confounds of Christ's supremacy. Mm -hmm. You cannot live your life unless you have a correct and sufficient view yeah. of who Christ is in his supremacy. Yeah. Because fundamentally, our lives, mm -hmm. they evolve from our understanding of who Christ is. Yes. Once we have a correct view of who Christ is, mm -hmm. then we are able to come. Because remember, we are dealing with an issue of these are the heresies of the time. Yes. Paul is rectifying that. Yeah. He's saying that there are conversations going around about who Christ is. Yeah. There are conversations going around about how you should live your life and how you shouldn't. Mm -hmm. But the problem is that we cannot live what we don't understand of Christ. And you said something, mm -hmm. the more you know, the, the more, more you, you are grow. able to grow. Yes. And the more you are able to grow, the more you are able to love. love. Here's the thing. In the church, we deal with issues with, um, I'm of this social status. Mm -hmm. I'm of this tribe. Mm -hmm. I'm, of this, uh, I'm of this level. And mm -hmm. all of those Even things... Church. Even religion, denomination. A religion and denomination. Yes. But now when you see all these letters, now in the book of Galatians, Paul writes, he says that, how dare we separate, mm -hmm. you understand, what mm -hmm. Christ has put together in dying for. Yeah. Now that's paraphrase. Mm -hmm. But now we're dealing with an issue that because we don't understand Christ sufficiently, mm -hmm. there are over 17,000 people groups, yeah. Jews and, Ge and Gentiles Giants. alike. Mm -hmm. And all of those people groups, they deserve an expression where we as Christians, we have to model what we believe of Christ mm -hmm. in his supremacy. Mm -hmm. So we don't understand well of Christ, we cannot live sufficiently, neither can we impact the world around us. So we need to start with an accurate understanding of who Christ is. Mm -hmm. Because without that, then we cannot able to live this life in conformity to Christ. Exactly, Amen. because if you don't understand Christ and you know the garment that we are putting mm -hmm. on yeah. is its fabric, mm -hmm. it's the fabric of Christ. It's thread. You remember what we said uh, during, um, I think it was another Bible said that we're saying, when something is dyed into dye, mm. it, the, the color of that garment changes to the color of the dye. Mm. So that means that we are baptized, baptizo, dye, mm -hmm. inside mm -hmm. Christ. When we come up, then we are supposed to come up as Christ. Mm. But we, we will only come up and portray Christ if we have the correct and accurate knowledge mm. of who Christ is. Mm. Thank you so much, Baraka. Madam Francie, <laughs> right. yes. I think Sibu has said almost okay what I wanted to say, but yes, and you can say more. You can say <laughs> more. Can you can more. put yeah. a nail on it. Mm. Yeah, the Bible, basic instructions for living. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, that that is basically it. Yeah. It it doesn't point out this is okay. Um. How can I put it? Rituals. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't point out how to get to God mm -hmm. in terms of I don't pass know. here. Yeah. <laughs> Do this. But it talks about basics. Um, this is this is love. Mm -hmm. This is what I've I've put out for you. This is what you should do. Mm. Put off this, put on this. Mm. So that is basic the basic instructions towards who God is and mm. knowing him more. Yeah. So that that's that's what I could I could ask. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Basic. You know, Francie is a, a Sunday school teacher. So she teaches in the most simplest ways that a child can understand. So uh, I think what I hear from Francie is God is not complicated. You understand? He is not a witch where he will tell you for you to come to me, you have to remove your shoes at the door and then turn your back and come kinyume nyume until, uh, so that you access where I am. No. Go <laughs> because that's what we have turned God to be. Mm. And slaughter a black, and and slaughter a black hen and yeah. chicken and a goat and walk in between it With whatever it's awful. Eh? Mm. No, th God does not do that. God shows you who he is. Mm. He manifests and tells you and grows you in who he is, mm. so that because I am created and made after his image, I know I have a blueprint of how I should be and who I should be. Sure. Isaac. Thank you. Um, uh, I go back to verse 10. Yes. The Bible says that I have put and have put on this, the new spiritual self. Yes. That is the new birth yeah. of a Christian. Yeah. You cannot put on these attires or the, wow, the wardrobe the wardrobe that God has picked out for you yeah. if you're not re rebathed. Yes. You're not born again. Yeah. So it begins from you have to be born again yeah. so that you're able to put on this. 
Are you getting that? Yes. So that is very important. Yeah. And uh, the creator here, uh, it continues to say, um, the new spiritual self who is being continually renewed in the true knowledge, in the image of him yes. who created the new self. Yeah. So I, w- I would like to correct what Ricky said. Yes. This is not the, 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 the first creation of man. Are you getting that? Yes. This is the second recreation of man. Mm. We are being re- we are created by the image of Jesus Christ. Mm. It is him who recreated us again. Mm. Amen. Mm. And then verse 13, as I yeah, verse 13, I would like you to read uh, from message bible yes. quickly. 13 and 14. 13 and 14. Yes. Um 13 and 14. Aha. Uh-huh. It says be even uh, 13 14. It says, Forgive yes. as Rory. quickly. Yes. Forgive. Forgive. Forgive yes. as quickly and completely as the master forgave you. 14. And regardless of what else you put on, wear love. It's your basic all purpose garment. Thank you very Never much. Never be without it. Quickly. Forgive quickly and completely. Yes. You know, after Jesus went to the cross, yeah. we Christians, we don't forgive so that God will forgive us. Yeah. We forgive because God has already forgiven us. Yes. How has he forgiven us? Mm-hmm. He forgave us quickly and completely. Yes. So I'm supposed to forgive uh, a brother quickly, quickly and, and completely. completely. Actually, before she complete the long yes. that she is doing to me, yeah. I'm supposed to have forgiven him. Ah, Amen. All her. Yes. Quickly and, and completely. completely. I'm not supposed to bring it back. Mm-hmm. You... You remember you what remember you did what yesterday you did. Mm-hmm. and last year? No, yes. completely. Yeah. Because Jesus forgave us completely. completely and quickly. Eternally. Yes. He forgave us eternally. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And then verse 14, regardless of all these other attires that yes. you have put on, yes. don't forget the basic. Yes. It's just like the way I'm dressing now. Yeah. Imagine the way I'm well dressed. Yes. And then I don't have the inner way. Ha, 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 ha. You, you ha, see that ha, one? Ha, ha, that is the basic. Yes. <laughs> and actually, where the, how you put on the, the whatever I put on, yes. I, I started with the basic. Yes. So you're not supposed to, you're supposed to be with that. Yes. Not without that. Not without. Amen? Amen. That, that is the basic love. And love, the way Ricky said, it's yes. not a good feeling. Yeah. It is a lifestyle of laying down your life for the brother. Yes. And love has nothing to do with you. Mm-hmm. Has all to do with the brother. Yes. So all this is all about, you know, selfless yes. life for the sake of the brother. Thank you. I, I, can I just yes, 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 yes. That. Go ahead. Uh, it's beautiful how he has put it. Yes. And um, I love the way we are speaking about uh, verse 14 on forgiveness. Yes. And uh, you see, the beautiful thing is Jesus will put, uh, give an example that when you understand how much you have been forgiven. Mm -hmm. You know, Mm -hmm. when you understand, and and for me, that's what I love about understanding. It's in the knowledge of, in the grow in the knowledge of, Mm -hmm. of your creator. Every now and then, desire to know him more, to experience him more, to love him more, to know him more, because then you will be able to give forth. And so, having understood, sometimes I'm like, Ricky, how much have you been forgiven? Even possibly yesterday, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. or even today, I thought of like, eh, I'll kill this person, you know, mm-hmm. and then the Christ has already forgiven you, and, and, and quickly you say, and completely. Yes, and you say, you <laughs> yeah. see, he says yes. that just by the thought of it, yeah, you know, yeah, it's like you have committed the deed, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. When you when you spoke and said you have not been murdered, mm-hmm. be like maybe there's someone who has who already a long time ago. <laughs> 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 That's by the thought of it, yes. you see. Yeah. And so, by me understanding mm. about f- how much I have been forgiven, mm-hmm. I'll not even need to know, like, you know, most of the times we ask the question, I almost spoke my mother tongue here, mm-hmm. you know, like, why me? Mm-hmm. Why, why, have they, why have they done that to me? Why not you? That's the good question. Yes. Why not me? Mm. Then, I, I always like asking, do you... Th- Whatever they have done to you, mm. would it have been possible? Would you like them to do it to me also? You know, so, so because when if you I ask love you, why me? If I love you, yes. it means I can't. Yeah. yeah, because when I say, when you ask yourself why me, yeah. it simply means, Ricky, it will have been you. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. you could be able to take it, not mm-hmm. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I think just trying to understand how much we have been forgiven, mm-hmm. it will make you to go quickly 
and completely to forgive everyone else. And I think that's what spurred Paul on. Remember Paul, eh? Oh, yeah. Yes, I think that's, that's one thing that really made Paul who he was. Because every time he wrote, he said, I was the worst of the sinners. The I chief. Pass, the chief sinner. I persecuted the church. Mm. I killed the disciples of Christ. And yet, Christ loved me. Yes. You guess, sir? Yeah. A, qu a quick one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, I always tell... <laughs> I always tell Christians, yes. Christians, they don't have the power problem. Yes. They don't have the love problem. Yes. Because Romans 5, 5, the Bible says that hope does not disappoint. Yes. For God's love has been poured into our heart yes. through the Holy Spirit that we receive. Yes. So we have been, God's love has been poured into our heart. Yes. We don't have a love problem. Mm -hmm. We don't have the power problem. Yes. Because All the power and authority uh, 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 they have been power. given to us. Yes. Christians, they have the knowledge problem. Yes. Mm -hmm. The knowledge problem. Mm -hmm. For you to know the power you have. Mm -hmm. For you to know the authority you have. Mm -hmm. For you to know the love you have. Mm -hmm. Not sprinkled. Mm -hmm. Poured. Poured. So you, you're not supposed to struggle Sa with loving. Somewhere else it says shaken together, pressed down and running over. That is the love that we have received from yeah. God. Mm -hmm. So I wonder how can a Christian struggle with loving? How can a Christian struggle with forgiving? Because they don't know. Because they so the knowledge problem. Yes. Like me, mm. the brothers to my mom, they de, they kicked us out. Yeah. They destroyed all the houses. Yes. And they destroyed all the our belongings. Yes. Do you know I forgave my uncles quickly, and completely, completely, and I never took them to court. Yeah. I forgive them mm. just the way God in Christ Jesus forgave me. You know, you are saying something that uh, my mentor normally challenges me with. So, um, somebody has wronged you. Like, for example, let me take the worst case scenario. Um, uh, a company has not, uh, you know, paid you your money. Yeah. Right? Or relatives have kicked you out. It's within your constitutional right to take them to court. Yes? Yes? Yes. Yes? yes. True. Yes. Constitutional right. right. And in God... If you were to ask God that question, what will he tell you? What, what, what will he tell you? Actually, Jesus says, even before you reach to court, mm -hmm. you know, make sure. So don't reach the court. Don't even reach the court. Uh -huh. Yeah. Make sure you have dealt with it. Hapa, here. You know, here. And then Paul says, somewhere else, do not be like the pagans who mm -hmm. take one another to before and believe us to judge cases. Sintio, Sintio, is it so hard for you you, 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 <laughs> believers, to be able to solve your own squabbles. Mm. I, and sometimes my mentor normally says that I'm like, Aki, Papa, uh uh, you are not living on this earth. How can someone take my money and then you tell me it's okay? I, no, no way. But you see, knowledge, understanding what you actually have. Okay, my director is like, we have two minutes left. And I think my input in all that would be, guys, I, I, I have just one thing to add on everything that you guys have, you know, have said. The, the unclothing and the clothing. The unclothing and the clothing. Now, if you go back to uh, the Jewish culture, it's this, this text was taken from an excerpt of war. You get it? Eh? Of war. Where when, when, when armies would go to war, the winning army will strip off, you know, the defeated army, their clothing, and their treasures. You understand? Okay? So, when, when, when you look at this, this is, this is war language, where God is telling us, listen, there is a kingdom that has been defeated. Are you getting? There is a kingdom that has been defeated, which you belonged to. Now, the garment of that kingdom that has been defeated it is within the victory law for you to strip off that armor of that other kingdom. And now, put on this armor of the winning kingdom that has conquered. You understand? So, when this garment has been... The, the kingdom of darkness have been, has been defeated. So, therefore, the kingdom of God, which is now victorious does what? Strips off everything that belongs to that other kingdom so that you are identified by the victorious kingdom. 
So the idea of putting off and on is not only just, you know, uh, fancy clothes and all that. It is a power idea. It is an authority idea. Whatever you have on dictates the authority by which dictates your life. You understand? So if you are still putting on irritability and having things your own way, you understand? And fancying everything that attracts you, we know which kingdom you belong to. So it's a matter of kingdom. It's literally at the center, a matter of kingdom. If you're putting on love and compassion and kindness, that is an armor that you're putting on. You understand? If you go back to the armor of God. Sindio, all those things are the new cloth, the new kingdom that you have been brought in. So even as we do all this, let us remember that. That it is a, vic it is a chance of victory. It is a chance of us taking on the victory that Christ Jesus has done what? Has already given us. Remember he said he disarmored and publicly made a spectacle of you understand? Yes. Of the kingdom of darkness and of the works of the devil. Mm -hmm. On the cross. He undressed them and made a public spectacle of it. Okay? So that you and I will put on the new garment mm -hmm. which is Christ if we understand who Christ is. Yes. So putting on this is not a fancy idea. It is a victory idea. So if you're victorious in Jesus Christ, please put on the garment who is Christ Amen. Jesus. Thank you so much, guys. My directors are like, cut it, cut it, cut it. Thank you. I think unless there is one sentence, not two, three, four, one sentence from everyone as we go. One, one. Isaac. <laughs> when Jesus went to the cross, yes. he completely defeated the kingdom of darkness. Yes. So the kingdom of darkness plus the devil and demons, they are non-factors. Yes. As far as our Christian life is concerned. Yes. But... There is a kingdom that we need to defeat daily. Yes. It is the kingdom of self. Mm -hmm. The self-love. Mm -hmm. The self-seeking life. Mm -hmm. Are you getting that? Mm -hmm. And you can only be able to defeat self-life with this... Uh, the new love. garment. With the new garment. Yes. When you put on forgiveness, yeah. there will be no bitterness. Yes. You get that? Mm -hmm. When you put on love, mm -hmm. there will be no hatred. Yes. When you put on uh, compassion, there yes. will be no um, um, greed. Yes. So, for you to defeat self, you ha I have and we have to put on the new wardrobe that God has picked out for us. Thank you. Thank you so much. Full stop the, to the sentence. Annette. <laughs> we don't have one sentence. Yes. Uh, just say this. one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here there is no Gentile yeah. or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, yes. barbarian or Scythian, mm. slave or free, mm. but Christ is all and is in all. Yeah. I'll just take you back to the early Christians, mm. the early church. Yeah. They had everything yeah. in common. Everything. Yeah. Everything. All they ate, how they walked, how they talked, their belief. So here, I cannot hate and you love. Mm -hmm. I cannot fail to forgive and you're forgiving. Yeah. If we are all in Christ and Christ is in us, we should ha have everything in, in common. common. Yeah. Do not cut up Jesus Christ into pieces. Yes. This Jesus that does not forgive and this Jesus that forgives. Yeah. Or this Jesus that loves halfway and this Jesus that loves completely. Mm. Thank you so much. You're an evangelist to you. <laughs> One sentence, Pasi. I'm, I'm counting five words. I was constructing it. Yes. So, <laughs> so then, brethren, you know, Christ is the object of your faith. Mm -hmm. It is the battle of the mind mm -hmm. and the battle of the heart. Mm -hmm. And the golden commandment is this. Love the Lord your God with all your mind, with all your heart, and with all your soul, mm -hmm. which is in strength. Mm -hmm. So all this is engulfed in the knowledge in the word of God. Thank you. Full stop. Thank you so much. Yes. Um, I think we need to understand conformity to Christ. Yeah. It's for the sole purpose of expressing Christ's mission. Yes. Because Colossians 1.19 says that God was fully pleased to dwell in him in his fullness yeah. so that he may reconcile all things to himself. Yeah. So the fullness of God is the expression of the Godhead. Mm -hmm. But once Christ is in you and is working out his nature in you, yeah. it is not so that you may portray yourself to be holy, mm -hmm. but is that in your holiness, you may be sent out to the world to reconcile to those I mentioned mm -hmm. who are yet to know Christ, mm -hmm. those who have not heard. Yeah. To reconcile them, them back to God. The ministry of God. reconciliation. Yes, yeah. so there is a link between the two. Yeah. Conformity to Christ, 
is for reconciliation mm -hmm. of the world back to God mm -hmm. for those particularly who have not heard of the gospel. Amen. Full stop to that. That's a very powerful sentence. Okay. Francie. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. uh, the problem that most believers might have is acceptance of what is already ours. Yeah. So that is all I can say. We should accept what is already given to us. Mm -hmm. By God. Amen and amen. amen. Amen and amen. I think for me, I will finish off like this. I think last time we said there are things that God has given us first of all that will identify us in Christ. And as Sibo says, there are things that are meant to be a testimony to the world that we belong to Jesus Christ and therefore bring them to Jesus Christ. So whatever it is that we are doing as a born again Christian, as a born again child of God, Remember, there is what distinguishes you from the world, but there is also that which that makes people attract, uh, that which attracts people to Christ through you. All in all, we always appreciate our crew. Today we have a lot of crew. So, <laughs> guys who have never been here, what we do is you put your hand in front of the lens and then we'll appreciate you. So uh, let me begin with visitors. Lisa, hi, that is on wide. Thank you so much for joining us today. And who, who, who was on here? Dan, uh, Esther, who is here? Okay, Dan, Dan and Esther on... Uh, they are sharing. Oh, they are sharing the camera. Thank you very much. God bless you. Yes, and then we go to uh, the most loyal serving camera lady on this uh, platform, Paris. There she comes. Thank you so much. And then the producer, director, everything, everyone, everything that is CEO. Here, CEO himself, production manager, everything. Um, Baba Yao, <laughs> Ericsson, Ericsson, thank you so much for being here. And we always say that, hey, if you watch this and it blesses you, share it, like it, subscribe to the channel, and you are so much welcome. Hey, guys, this is Trinity Chapel Nakuru in partnership with Christ Zion Assembly. We love you so much. Keep watching. Keep loving Jesus Christ. Bye.